we love two types of music, of course, country and, and then western. That's exactly right. Wiggins on the phone. Good morning, General. Good morning. Hi, Zach. Jim, how you doing this morning? Fantastic, Good. fantastic. Sorry, we're uh, running a little bit late. You know, today is uh, the anniversary of Elvis Presley's death, and Jim and I were out in the hallway having a peanut butter and nanner sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> were you ever uh, an Elvis fan? Absolutely. I was a closet Elvis fan. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, let's, we had a chance to uh, meet with you uh, not too long ago, and of course, you know, Division West is somewhat new to uh, Fort Hood, and you, I know that you're new to the command there. Well, kind of give us a, an overview of, of uh, Division West. Roger. Yeah, we're a little different than uh, most of the organizations here on Fort Hood in the fact that we're responsible for training America's uh, citizen soldiers in the National Guard and Reserve. Uh, we have eight brigades, uh, three here at Fort Hood. Uh, we have two at Fort Bliss and uh, two up at Joint Base Lewis-McChord in, in, in Washington State and one in Wisconsin. So we're constantly on the road going out and visiting those folks. And, uh, but it's a great uh, opportunity to get out there and, and see our citizen soldiers uh, that uh, do great work for our nation. Now you are, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, are you in the old uh, 4ID building? I sure am. Yeah. I, I started off as a lieutenant here. Back in 1984 in the 2nd uh, uh, Armored Division. So. Uh, as I told you, I'm out here changing over the patch in the building, and I find new uh, 4th Infantry Division patches every day. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it is. It our, is. Good, our good friend, uh, Command Sergeant Major Glenn Vila, has just come over to your team. We're glad to have him on board. And, and matter of fact, as soon as he checked in, we uh, packed his bags for him and sent him out on the road. So. <laughs> yeah, I asked him if, we asked him if he was going to be traveling, and he said, yep, looks like quite a bit. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, talk, uh, General, about the community involvement down there. Well, you know, we're, we're fortunate because, uh, and, and as a matter of fact, Fort Hood's fortunate because we're a great place because of a great community. There's no bigger uh, supporters of a military installation than what you find here in Central Texas. But uh, we have a partnership with the great folks up in Gatesville. And uh, I tell you, they've wrapped their arms around our soldiers and our, and our families. And so we're blessed in that regard. And we're, we have uh, adopted schools up there as well. And we're just waiting for the kids to go back to school so we can take that partnership to the next level. Now, coming up, uh, there's some reserve component aviation training going on? Oh, yeah. You know, here at Fort Hood, and, you know, I, I apologize for the noise, but, you know, as I was told, that's the sound of freedom. Uh, but you know, I, I, I like that. We train 47% uh, of the Army's total aviation right here at Fort Hood, Texas, and that's in the reserves and National Guard. Uh, this is the Aviation Center of Excellence at Fort Hood. And so uh, aviation units from across the nation come here to train. And uh, so the Central uh, Texas folks here are great ambassadors for the state of Texas. And then uh, most of those formations go to uh, Afghanistan now. Uh, some go to uh, what we call K-4 or Kosovo training. They really go throughout the, uh, the world. Yeah, I live by the Waco Airport, and I know that they do a lot of training missions, uh, practice uh, approaches to the runway there, and my kids always love running out there when they hear the helicopters to see <laughs> oh, them, because yeah. they're pretty cool, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I'm an aviator, so, you know, I fly Apaches, and uh, so I've got an affinity to those guys uh, that fly those uh, those bugs with the rotors on top. Bugs with the rotors. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> I love it. Well, General, let's highlight some of the uh, operations and events, the training that's going on both uh, at Fort Hood and away from post. Well, absolutely. You know, we got a lot going on. Um, you know, the 21st CAP, for example, is training what we call unmanned aerial vehicles out at Fort Irwin, California. Uh, we just got through with a uh, chemical biological response exercise, which is a national level exercise uh, at Camp Atterbury, Indiana. And we've had a number of our formations that were up there to help training that formation. Uh, the first CAV is busy as ever. You know, they just got back from deployments, but uh, we put them back out on the road, and they're at uh, places like Fort Irwin and Fort Polk. And then uh, off post, I mean, on post here, we got the 3rd Cavalry Squadron, uh, a regiment with uh, John Richardson that's doing great work with the new striker vehicles, and they're constantly staying busy as well. You know, we <laughs> do some comparison. This time last year, 30,000 troops, units deployed in active duty. And what's that number down to now? About 3,000 now. You know, wow. and, and uh, that, that sounds great, but we still got to remember to keep those families and those soldiers in our thoughts and prayers. Cause, Absolutely. Uh, you know, they're doing great work standing on point for this nation over there in Afghanistan. Now, General, going on today at the Great Place, some events? Oh, absolutely. I'm, uh, I'm honored and privileged to be uh, 
standing in for General Campbell, if you can do that, uh, for what we call our Hood Heroes Ceremony at 1130 today. You know, what it does is it'll highlight those guys uh, that go above and beyond in the volunteerism and the outstanding service, and we'll recognize them, uh, you know, because it's always good to recognize folks that do uh, for others. Uh, these are the givers. Uh, you know, we've got enough people out there in the, in the world that are takers. Uh, we're fortunate enough here at, at Fort Hood to have some great folks here at the great place that make uh, Fort Hood even greater. Well, General, i got to tell you that uh, we get a little cheat sheet, and uh, I'm missing page five of five, so are there any oh. other events going on down there for you to talk about? Uh, I, I don't want to comment. No, uh, you know, yeah, I, I just tell you, I, since I have the opportunity. I, I just want to tell the folks and your listeners uh, that, uh, you know, we really want to appreciate what they do day in and day out. Uh, it's easy to serve a grateful nation and a, and a grateful community, and so I, I appreciate the opportunity to get out there and speak to them and tell them thank you, uh, because we don't do it enough. We're really glad to have you also as a great listener and fan of Waco 100. Absolutely. Even though you are a Jeff Gordon fan. I am, and, and, and you know, <laughs> so I say that with pride. That, I said, despite that. Even, right. <laughs> That's okay. Hey. I, you know, he's a, he's a great race car driver. Yeah, he, well, I'll give you that. Jim, uh, that's Jim all I doesn't agree, you. but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, shifting gears just a bit, and, and we know we have a lot of uh, listeners uh, uh, in the Fort Hood area. And uh, last night, uh, Zach and Jim found out that our good friend, General Peter Atkinson up in Canada, his uh, wife, uh, Charlene, passed away after a battle with uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. And uh, a lot of, uh, Peter made a lot of friends down here. And I know you said you had a chance to meet him a while back. I, I did. And uh, I'll tell you, he is a great ambassador for Canada. You know, I, 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 I tell you, he uh, was a great supporter here at Fort Hood as well. And uh, I will tell you, it, it, our, hearts are, our hearts are broken, and uh, our thoughts go out to him and his family. Uh, but, you know, I'll be practicing my A's, and hopefully he'll be able to come and visit us here so we can uh, give him a big hug and, and, and tell him we're thinking about him. Absolutely. Well, General, thank you so much for taking the time to check in and tell us all about Division West, and I'm sure we'll visit again soon. Thanks, Zach, Jim. Appreciate what you guys do, and thank you for your support as well. The Commanding General of First Army Division West, Major General Perry Wiggins, with this week's Fort Hood Update. <laughs>